Hi, welcome to this computer tutoring tutorial. And in particular, today, or well, this time, we're going to focus on masks in Adobe Illustrator CC. Now, you can use masks for various different reasons. In fact, I should have a mask on my face here. So just imagine I was wearing a mask. I looked all over the place um, to find a mask, but I couldn't find one. So you imagine the mask area is the area I can't see, and then the eye holes, this one here, yeah? That's the area you can see. So you can see through my eyes. That's the area that's unmasked. So what do I mean by this? Well, if you look on the screen here, I've got a picture, lovely desert here. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna create a mask over that picture just to show a little bit through there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the picture down to the bottom of my page like that. I'm just gonna resize it, make sure I hold down the shift key while I do that. That's fantastic. Okay. And then I'm gonna create a shape. So I'm going to use the rounded rectangle and I'm gonna do a few shapes across the bottom here. So holding down my shift key, uh, I'm firstly going to create my rounded rectangle, uh, control and space. I'm just gonna zoom in a tiny little bit here and just using my black arrow tool, I'm just gonna make the air rectangle a bit rounded. Great. So I will eventually do multiple shapes. What I wanna do is I wanna start off with a single shape for this mask. So what I do is I make sure I've got the mask or the shape I want to uh, use as eye holes, i.e. what I want to see through. I make sure that that is on top of the picture. So if the picture's below, then that's great. If it's above, it's not going to work. So say, for instance, if I hold down control and press the right square bracket, you see the picture's above. Or if I click on the, uh, um, the shape here and hold down the control and then press the left square bracket, I can put it above and below. So I can use the layers panel or layers window for that. If I went to window and then went and clicked on layers and just expanded the layers. So if you just see just down here, you can see my different layers and I can see my rectangle and my image there. I can just rearrange my layers if I want to. I need to make sure that the shape is above the picture. I think I made my point there. So what do I do next? So what I do is I click on the uh, black arrow tool here at the top, hold down the shift key, make sure both of them are selected, and then I go up to and I'll click on Object, down to Clipping Mask, and across and click on Make. And there we have it. So we have our shape is masked, so the area is hidden is masked, and the revealed area is the area that's within the shape. So far, so good. So just while we're in this, I'm just gonna show you a couple of things that you can do here. So if I'm double click using the black arrow, you notice at the top here, it says that I am in a clipping group here. So what does that mean? Well, that means that basically that the clipped object in the picture is together in the group. So what I can do here is I can click on the picture and I can see the outline of the picture just here. I can click and arrange the picture, you can see here. So I, I can show various parts of the picture. There's a little blip there, I'm not sure what that is, but I can show that there. Okay, if I go back to the main layer, then I can move this around, it all moves as one object. That's great. So what about the next stage? So I'm just gonna undo a few times, so I'm gonna hold down Control and Z and just tap back and 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 back. There we go. Uh, just bring the thing forward. Now say for instance I have multiple shapes, okay, on this image and I want to then mask it, i.e. I just want to see the desert through little squares. So what do I mean by that? So say for instance I do a duplicate of this, I'm gonna hold down the Alt key on the keyboard and drag to create first copy and another. Okay, I'm just gonna hold down the space bar and then just bring it across to give me some more room. I'm just gonna make some more duplicates here. Do I have room for one more at the end? No, I don't. So what I'm just gonna do is just zoom back a little bit, holding down Alt and using the wheel on my mouse. Quite a handy little tip. What oh, is going on here? So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the shift key and make sure all of these are selected and just move them roughly into position here at the bottom. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this one just to the left and this one to the right because I want to make it up just to the edges here. That's, fun. That's good. And then I hold down the shift key, make sure they're all selected. I can then go to my align window. So here's my align window here and I can use this to align the object. So I'm gonna use this button just here so it's going to align my object, so that's quite good. Ah, here's an interesting mistake. I was training somebody this just today who had this mistake, and I've done the same. Where it says align to, it's aligning to artboard. I want it to align to selection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose align to selection. I'm gonna drag this all down here again, and now it says align to selection. I'm gonna click on the align, and it's all aligns with each other. And I want it to be distributed as well, so I'm gonna click on align or the horizontal distribute center just here, and you can see it's all 
distributed. That's great. I want to make sure now that these shapes are right in the middle of my artboard here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them together. And now is a good opportunity to align to artboard and I can align them centrally so I know that these shapes are in the middle. Great, fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ungroup them. That's good, there's no need for the align panel, so get rid of that. So, do you remember how we did the first shape? We clicked on the shape, made sure it was at the top, and then we clicked on the um, picture underneath, and then went to object, clipping mask, and make. Well, what happens if I do that here? So if I just draw a box around through all of these, they're all selected like so, that's great. And then I'm gonna try object, clipping mask, make. Uh, well, hang on a second, what's going on here? Well, you see, it's not including all of the shapes. I'm just seeing the last shape there, and you might get other sort of undesired results. So what do we do with that? How do we overcome that? Well, let's just undo, Control-Z to undo. What we need to do first is to make all of these shapes here a compound path. So in that way, Illustrator will think that it's one shape and not five separate shapes. So what I do is I select all of the shapes one by one. I will then go to Object, go down to Compound Path and Make. So that's Object, Compound Path and Make. So now I can hold down the shift key and click on the background just there. And let's try it again with a clipping mask. I can go to object, clipping mask, make. And there we go. It's going through all of them. So last thing we're going to do is going to look some text here. So let's say I want to put some text on the top. So I'm just going to go to file and place. And I'm going to place some more, here we go, a rainy outdoors picture. So let's see if I can just place this one here. And I want to put some text on. So what I can do is I can tip the T tool, just click to start typing, type in some text, with an exclamation mark. Well, that looks quite small, so I'm just going to highlight that. And I'm going to use uh, font size to make that a lot bigger. And to really emphasize the point, I think I need to change the font here. So I'm going to change the font to an Arial. Uh, if I click at the top and then type in Arial, and there we go, Arial Black's the one I'm wanting there. Um, in fact, if I go down to the character, I'm just going to bring it in together by just bringing some curling in here. Just uh, let's have a look here. And if we just go back to this one here, click on character. The character's window doesn't appear like mine doesn't seem to want to. I'm just going to go down to and I'm going to go to type just at the bottom here. And then I'm going to go to character. Here's the character window. And I'm just going to change the tracking rather just to bring the text in together a little bit here. Okay, so there we go. So I'm just going to bring that there. So all I do with this is I just hold down the shift key and I select the picture behind. Object, clipping mask, make. And then you see I've got mask text. So if I want to then add or to delete text, I just uh, click on my text tool. And then what I can do is I can go back and I can change some text here. So I can click on my T for my text, go to edit my text, and then add more text if I need to here. So uh, I've got text here. Let me just see if I can add some text and just type in more. And you can see it's still masked. If I close down my uh, character here uh, and say, for instance, I need to make the picture bigger. If I double click on the picture, I can see that. If I double click again uh, and I just click on the border of the picture here, there we go. I can hold down the shift key, make the picture bigger. You see the text it reveals. So this box around the outside is the size of the picture. Okay, so you notice that here at the top, if I click on the arrows to go back, and then we've got some more text, I can just pop that here, and you can get some different effects there with the text. For instance, if I click on the text here, and I go to effects, stylize, drop shadow, set a preview, I can put some preview, drop shadow, etc., on this text here. It looks so wonderful, doesn't it? And muck around with it and make it looking good. So I hope this has helped. Um, please see um, more videos and more tutorials that's available in the Illustrator series and thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.